that's it now. Yeah, it, it came up. I uh, just said uh, yes, it's, okay. it's up now, so that's fine. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Ready to play? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Natalia Cock Road, Denmark. On my left, Maria Mazova, Bulgaria. Natalie Cock Road, serve, level, play. Hi, uh, and welcome back to the BAMG Europe coverage of the Scottish Open uh, Grand Prix here in Glasgow in One the Emirates Arena. Up. Um, it's just me for this match uh, on court one. Uh, I'm Kirsty Gilmore uh, and I'll be chatting you through this lady singles Natalia Kokroda of uh, Denmark versus hey, Maria Mitsova of Bulgaria. Cockroach is the top seed here in this event. Three, um, I think I played her in this event last year, maybe in the second round. So she's a, a very tricky, tricky opponent. She's got one heck of a reach on her. She's a very tall girl. And we make life difficult for our opponents. I think that'll definitely be the case here. She's gone off to a good start, a good three, love. Love start, make that four. four. <laughs> love. And uh you can see Mitsuva trying to trying to spread the shuttle around the court and Cockroach are just uh getting those extraordinarily long limbs to every shuttle so far. Bits of also is, uh, wow. yeah, she's had uh, a couple of errors out that back already in this first set, um, just struggling to control the the drifts in the hall, kind of a, a new surrounding. Six, love. It's a very strong start for Cockroda here. Seven loves, so you can't really get off to a much better start, to be fair. Mitsuva is just uh, looking a little unconfident just now, made a few errors. It's very hard to, to get into a rhythm. Same, same again, a couple hey. of rallies ago, she made that same error, just letting that shuttle drop a little bit too long. Good. Service over. Making Cockroach move the uh, entire length of the court there. It was really nice. 
just spreading his shuttle out but not putting too much risk into it, just uh, going for placement. Mitsuva had a good, uh, good solid first round against Katarina Tomalova of um, Czech Republic. Hey. Quite comfortable, 13-14, hey. and 14, won that in two sets. As for Natalia, again, another comfortable two set, uh, a little less comfortable than Mitsuva, perhaps uh, 18 and 17 against uh, Ella hey. Soderstrom from hey. Sweden. Being top seeds, Natalia will come here with some uh, good, good amount of confidence. Um, but she's up against some other strong seeds from Denmark. Um, and the Lady Singles is really an event. Uh, myself and Mark were just saying in the previous game. Uh, it really is an event that's uh, quite wide open. There could be a couple Four, of surprises. Eight. But Natalia is uh, is favourite, is seeded to be favourite to take the title. The uh, the hall is suddenly filled with a bit of a, a lady single spree here. Um, on uh, down the end court on court four, we have Sally Rain of uh, Five, India eight. against uh, Yuli Finnipson from. Uh, Denmark into a third set on that one. Court two on the on the court uh, left of this court one. Um, who do we have? We have uh, Louisa Heim of Germany, a player that I've uh, trained against um, for a few Five. weeks last year. Uh, really good young young player, really quite physical, has some good shots. Um, against Indian Arunhati Pantawani. I'm going to get better at the names, don't worry. Um, and on there the court to the right of this main court one here Nine. in the Emirates Arena, uh, we have Punagurio of England versus Fabian Debris of Denmark, uh, also two girls that I've trained with um, a good few times. Fabian took the first set 14 and is up 11-9 in the second set. Oh, nice, nice bit of luck there from Itzava. Seven, and she's actually managed to nine. close this gap very, very well. 7-9, there's not much in it now at all. I think both girls just trying to settle into the rhythm. Both playing a bit more safe now. The sidelines aren't really coming into play. And that was very, Seven, very fun. But it's very hard to judge in this hall. Nine. Seven. Just with the spatial awareness, you kind of you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. You don't really have reference points when you're in a, a training hall. You know, it's a perfect environment, no drift, and you kind of have the walls round about you to give you reference as to where you are. But then you come into a big arena, and suddenly you're in this kind of vast, vast area, and you have to make these millimeter judgments as to whether that shuttle's in or out. And often it's quite tricky. Oof, I can see what she wanted to do there, 11, but seven, just overshot it a bit. 11-7 to the Dane, just uh, at this halfway point in the first set. You see both courts, uh, coaches coming onto court there. Mitsuva coached by uh, her doubles partner. She's uh, played yesterday with uh, Petya Nedelcheva, a former top 10 uh, in the world player. Uh, they unfortunately lost their, their ladies doubles yesterday to uh, quite, well, yeah, it's that uh, experienced one, French players, Lafelle and Antrim. For one twenty seconds. Um, Thank you. But from what I know from Petcha, she'll be, um, yeah, giving him some yeah. some good advice to make over right now. And uh, Natalia, coached by Kim Nielsen, Eleven, now, formerly, um, seven, well, he is he's eight. Danish, but uh, he has been in the Netherlands for the past few years, coaching uh, the national team, and in particular, uh, Jako Ahrens, Selena Piek, and Afia Miskins, um, all of whom went to Service went to Rio. Over. Miskins and Piek, of course, being uh, consistently for about the past maybe 18 months within the, the world's top 10 or top 12, certainly. And uh, Piek and Aaron's always being within about the top 15 in the world for mixed doubles, which is, is no mean feat. So 
Um, I do say Kim knows his stuff. Service over. Good judgment well, from Natalia there. And over on court five, we've got a battle of, uh, well, United Kingdom rather than Great Britain. Uh, we've got Ireland versus uh, England, Smith and Nottingham versus uh, the McGee siblings. 13 8! Natalia. The English took the first set quite comfortably. If you cannot shout 10. until the line judges made the call. It's closer now, it's 12-14. Uh, Lady singles down on court four, just finishing with uh, Yuli Phillipson taking it in the third set. Service over. Nine thirteen. Of course, all of these games are. Available on live stream on the Bampton Europe page of uh, YouTube. You can flick between all the courts if you if you fancy. Of course, court one is uh, the only court we've uh, we've got commentary on. Ten, thirteen. Mitts of us so far is just letting gaps grow and then having to claw it back relatively successfully so far has to be said but um how quickly yes uh, I'd like to see her not let these gaps get any bigger playing catch up is uh, not not where you want to be Interesting. Service over. Um, played five shots in that ten. rally, and uh, the first four of them were on the forehand side of uh, Natalia, and the fifth one she went cross court and it drifted out. Um, I'd maybe like to see her utilise that uh, down that left hand side of Natalia more. Fifteen, ten. Strong, really strong. Followed, 16, went for the cross court reverse left and around the head. Followed the shuttle across. She knew that straight return was coming. Jumped up there, and put some really, really good uh, power down the down uh, Mitsova's forehand. Who I've just realised is uh, left-handed. Good aggression there. over. Like I say, down that left-hand side of uh, Natalia, that backhand just popped up. And uh, Mitsuva was able to, to steam in and get the shuttle on the floor. Play. over 17 11 again that jumping into the forehand 18, really nice and aggressive from 11. Natalia there down bits of his uh, forehand sides just not able to get a bat onto it Good early net, forcing the lift. Again, and again forcing the lift. Service over. That's unlucky. It was a bit of a risky 
Wrist a shot for um, the Dane to choose to play that cross court net shot. That can't be anything other than perfect. Or uh, it just takes uh, one little nudge from the opponent's racket just to send it over your head. So, yeah, a little bit of risk coming into it there. But to be fair, she has a, a good six point margin. She's got room to play with these things. Service over. Again, that cross court slice from uh, Maria just. 12. Just drifting out down that where I'm sitting, right hand side. Service over. Good. Nice to see some aggression from Maria actually. 13, um, 19. I'd like to see her um, take that on a bit more often. Ah, just that shot there. Service over. Nice and easy for Natalia to finish off there. Game point, 13. Manaya, towel, boot flight. We've arrived at match point. Pretty comfortable first set for uh, for the Dane so far. Um, it's not been too tricky. She had to scrape a few back, but... She's looked pretty in control this this whole set. Aggressive forehand again. She is very strong in that corner. Service <laughs> over. A little bit of luck coming in. You can 14, see Natalia's not too bothered. Twenty, but, uh, please. Natalia. Yeah, that happens. Please. That's a, game. that's a shame. The drift just uh, edged that first out. First game won uh, by Natalia Cockrode. The Dane, Natalia Cockrode has uh, taken the first set. Like I say, fairly comfortable. Um, and she'll be she'll be expecting to do the same in the second unless um, the change of ends has some bearing on it. Like I say, it's been quite a, an aggressive first set from uh, Cockroda, but that's just uh, that's just the way she plays. Um, but saying that, she's managed to, to keep the control, um, and I think from Mitsuba, I'd, I'd like to see her being not so not quite, not quite so passive. Uh, she's been a little bit uh, reserved so far. I'd like to see her let loose in the yeah, get on the attack more often. I think just kind of letting Cockroda control this game on the court just to the the right of this one on court one on court three there's a uh, lady singles just about to start up um, Sabrina Jackie of Switzerland versus Xu Yun Sung from Chinese Taipei uh, I, I sort of caught a little bit of her game yesterday she looks like a, a strong strong player unseeded uh, whereas uh, Jackie is six seeds, she's uh, the favourite on Four paper, one, um, but I think that can be quite Four an interesting one. one. Also, along on down on court four, of course they're all available on uh, on the old live stream on Bampton Europe YouTube channel. Um, down on court four, we have uh, two seeds, two seeded Danes in the men's singles against each other. We've got Emil Holst, Same. third seed against Kim Brun, thirteenth uh, seed. Second game. Level. Play. And we're into the second set here on court one. Lady singles, Natalia Cockrode of Denmark versus Maria Mitsova of Bulgaria. That's good. One. Like I say, love. aggressive play. 
from Cockroder. I think it's in Maria's best interest to, to start this off safe. Uh, that was kind of a little tricky return of serve that she went for there. And uh, I'd like to see her just getting the shuttle into play and building up the rallies from there. Nice clip down. Three! Not too much wow. power, mostly placement from Natalia. Found the line. I think that's One, a good call. I think three. she's quite lucky there. I, I might have left that one or two. But a better start from it's over here. Uh, despite it being 3 1, she found herself 7 love down in the first set. So, um, yeah, a better start so far. Two, three. That's good. That's better. I think, like, building the rallies will be key for her here. Cockroda has been uh, pretty pretty consistent so far. That was uh, one of the few errors that she's made. Just drifting long oh. there. That's uh, what Mitzvah, Mitzvah struggled with that, uh, that baseline when she was hitting that way also. Well up. Nice defence. Very good rally from Mitsova. Turned really, Four, really nice counter. Three. She was really on the back foot there, scraping a few shuttles back. Managed to step in and get that quick flick into Cockroda's normally strong forehand, but she just wasn't able to reach it for that one. Service over. <laughs> I like the idea. Four. <laughs> but oh. it was risky. When you're that far down and stretching that much, it's very, very difficult to control a, a, a concise cross court net shot. I appreciate the ambition, though. Nice early net. Staying on the attack. Cockroach has managed to counter, though. Got into that kind of driving exchange in the Five. mid court there. And Cockroda is uh, a bit stronger in that area, I'd say. Good, really nice cross court Five. skills. Four. From that deep, deep forehand. Like I say, it's an area that uh, the Dane is strong in and then really able to get that power to go for the straight kind of driving clear, I'm going to call it, um, just over Mitsuva and yeah, Mitsuva wasn't able to to get in balance and get sorted for the, for the cross court. Those good angles. Eight, I'm such a tall four. girl. Those good angles are going to come. You've got to pre be prepared to, to really push off from base and get your legs and your body and your racket down there. Pretty sharpish. Service over. Eight. 
really good rally from both of them. It's over. Just not managing to keep control when it was down Nine. low. Nine. Um, she did actually go for the more simple shot this time rather than the <laughs> crazy ambitious cross court net. Um, not quite managing to to keep the control. It was really unfortunate, but that was a really well constructed rally from both girls. I think the thing going forward that will be important for uh, Mitsuva will be to get the shuttle over Natalia. Such uh, tall players, you can't afford to um, be putting the shuttle right into their wheelhouse, right into their Seven, within reaching over. distance. You really have to work on Seven, getting that shuttle up nine. and over and putting them right on the back line. It's the only way they're going to have to move all the way there. Otherwise, they can just kind of stick Play. one foot in the middle and pivot around the court. Um, so I think that'll be a pretty key factor, but I'm appreciating the high serves, at least that is getting her off to a good start, but it does unfortunately put Sarah her in a over. defensive position from the the start. Ten. Um, Natalia's Seven. kind of favouring more the, the backhand low serves so far, which is putting her in an attacking position kind of from the outset, which is definitely how this game has looked so far. Natalia Cockroda. Um, Attacking a, a good bit more than Service over. than Mitsuva. Nice early net from Mitsuva there though. Ten. Service over. Good. 11, good aggression eight, from Natalia as the, the whole way through this match. She's been very early, especially anything that's at service line. She's been stepping in and really uh, putting the pressure on, on the Bulgarian. I think from the uh, from the hand gestures that I can see Kim Natalia's coach making. For one, when second, he wants for her to one, step in for early next seconds. and just play them really simply and really early, as opposed to letting them drop and wasting time and losing time. Eleven, eight, play. Just over. overshot it a little bit there. Nine, eleven. It's very difficult in this hall to to get a hold of that back line to get your shots consistently falling within, you know, a couple of centimeters of that back line is is no mean feat and Service over. yeah, quite often it will just Twelve, drift long. Nine. But that was a really nice sharp shot down down the forehand side again of Mitsuva. Service over. <laughs> Ten, twelve. Typically, with uh, quite tall, tall players, they struggle to get the lower down shots, and they certainly struggle to to twist and turn just because they're, you know, the signs of their centre of gravity is high. Nice again, Service nice over. clip shot close to that line 13, and down the forehand of uh, the Bulgarian girl. Uh, yeah, they tend to have a higher Wait. centre of gravity, longer legs, so it's more difficult for them to, to change direction. But I think it might be something that uh, Natalia's worked on quite a bit over maybe the summer. Um, Service over. And perhaps playing more matches 11, in tournaments, 13. getting to the latter stages. I think she's worked on her agility a good bit and uh, yeah isn't isn't struggling on that front in this match. A couple of those little well errors creeping in just missing the timing feet. overhead and has knocked a few into the net. Just been unlike her this uh 
this match. Seeing that the score is almost uh, level, um, Maria has brought it back really well within a point now. Good defence. Oh, and she's managed to save it. That's really, really good. Thirteen. She um, oh. herself on the attack and then just left that front court a little bit open. Had to, uh, <laughs> I'd say she had to improvise to get that net shot back. And then, unfortunately, uh, Natalia has just uh, nudged the flick long, and it's the, it's the hardest thing to control when you've got an open court, and it requires a relatively simple shot. But that shuttle is spinning, and it's very hard to control it. Good early net. Oh, unfortunately. Service over. 14, 13. She went for the kind of uh, step out into her forehand there. I, maybe it's just uh, in her nature, but the um, the jump out into that corner is the other option. Maybe just giving you a little bit more um, more reach up and taking that shuttle just a little bit earlier, as opposed to stepping out when you're kind of waiting for the shuttle to come. Um, maybe the more controlled option, which is maybe what she's going for, or like I say, maybe just in her nature. Really good defence there. Natalia crashed down that smash, and Maria managed to to get it back. Good control of the net, but even better control from the Dane. Fifteen, thirteen. Good. Natalia seems to be the, the more solid player. Just when the shuttle's going behind, she seems to have the whip to get the power onto it. Whereas I think when it goes in behind uh, Maria Mitsov of Bulgaria, she tends to opt for the softer, more controlled shot rather than just powering it back um, and trying to counter. Some nice safe play, taking the power off of it and just putting it into just the middle of the half court, taking no risks from Natalia. It's drifted long, it is. A good call and a good 13. leave from Cockroda. Natalia's managed to open up a, a little gap again in the score. It got um, almost managed to come back to even. Uh, there's another one. 18, back up to five. 13. She started the first set with a seven love uh, head start. Maria Mitsuva managed she managed to bring it back a little bit, but uh, this gap has opened up again in the kind of latter stages of this second set. It's really not the place that you want a gap of five points to be opening up. It's She's going to have to make a move here. She's going to have to be very solid for the next few points if she wants to have any hope. There's a, Service a over. big difference. There we go. A big difference between 18, 14, 14 and, and 19, 13. I say almost unsalvageable, but definitely not impossible, as I can attest to. <laughs> On the other courts here in the Emirates Arena, um, Emil Holst is just inching ahead of uh, fellow Dane Kim Brun. He's uh, 19, 19 up on uh, court four. 
went to a third set of uh, the Indian uh, Patawani versus Louisa Heim of Germany on the court just next to this one. And, 15, 19. Um, Sam Parsons is uh, battling out against Malaysian Juven Sung on the uh, on court five at the other end, other end of the hall here. Ooh, there it's over. Ah, that was uh, twenty. Match yeah. point. Mitsuva was kind of doing my view. Her, foot, her feet got in the way, but a tight shot, and it's brought Natalia Cockrod of Denmark to match point. Drifted out. Sarah Sovar. She had some luck in the last point in that line, 19, but uh, not 20. this time. Four more match point opportunities. Or four more saves in the case of Mitsuva. And she sent that wide. Yay. 14 and 16. Natalia Cockroad ties this one up and is into the quarterfinals later tonight of the ladies singles the Scottish Open here in Emirates Arena. Match one by 16, Natalia Cockroad. I think it's a fair 14, reflection of how the game went. Um, Cockroad was always pretty much in control. And yeah, like I say, sent her through to the quarterfinals here. Well, that's my time commentating up um, next up on court number one is uh, Kier Merlis versus Mark Kelly of uh, Netherlands, Kier Merlis of course of Scotland um, and I'm going to leave you in the, the capable capable hands of Mr Ray Stevens for that one and uh, he'll be there to, to chat you through that one so uh, that's all from me goodbye <laughs>